Ngayon naman, magsasolve naman tayo ng equation na merong square roots. So, mga examples na makikita natin today, yung mga equations natin hindi lang may x squared, hindi lang x, ngayon meron na siyang square root. Now, to solve for x, kung ang equation nyo ay may radical or square root, para ka lang nag-solve ng simpleng linear equation. So, kaya ng dati, kung meron tayong square root of x minus 3 equal to 4, ang goal natin is to have x by itself. So, ang first step is mag-add ka ng 3 on both sides para ma-eliminate mo yung 3 dun sa x. So, pag nag-add ka ng 3, ang matitira na lang sa'yo is square root of x equal to 7. Ngayon naman, yung square root ang dapat nating tanggalin. At para matanggal yung square root, kukunin natin yung inverse operation ng square root, which is exponent of 2. So, ang gagawin natin, erase natin yung dalawang sides ng square para ma-eliminate yung square root dun sa x. So, meron tayong 7 squared and x, which gives us x equal to 49. Kasi 7 squared is 49. So, yan yung pag-solve. Ganyan kasimple yung pag-solve ng equation kung meron radical yung x nyo. Now, sa mga susunod na examples naman, itong number 2, parehas lang siya nung example number 1. Um, kailangan mo ulit isolve yung x, so you need to have x by itself. At para magkuha yun, yung first step mo is to get rid of positive 5. So, subtract ka ng 5 on both sides para magkaroon ka na lang ng squared of x equal to negative 4. So, yung radical, tanggalin mo by taking the squares of both sides. So, lagay nyo lang sa square para ma-eliminate yung square root. So, wala na ngayon yung square root, kaya x na lang siya. Pero kailangan mo pang i-evaluate si negative 4 squared, which is simply positive 16. Kasi negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. At yung number five, number 3 naman, um, in na, yun sa problem natin na interchange yung constant tsaka yung radical. So, you have 3 plus square root of x equal to 7. So, again, kung ang goal mo is to have x by itself, kailangan tanggalin mo si 5. So, si 5, matatanggal mo siya by subtracting 5 on both sides para meron ka nalang square root of x equal to 2. Since meron ka pang radical, tanggalin mo yung radical by putting them to squares, kaya x is equal to 4. Kasi 2 squared is equal to 4. Now, itong susunod na example naman, yung uh, meron tayong radical at yun sa loob ng square root mo, meron kang x minus 3. So, two terms na yung nasa loob ng square root. So, uh, common mistake na pwede yung magawa dito sa equation na to is mag-add 3 on both sides. Now, tandaan nyo, hindi nyo pwede gawin yun kasi yung 3 or yung negative 3 mo e inside the square root. So, parehas silang nasa loob ng square root. So, ang una mong gagawin is tanggalin mo yung square root dito sa term na to para magkaroon ka na lang ng x minus 3. So, take the squares of both sides. So, square mo yung um, side na to, square mo rin yung 4 para matanggal yung radical. Meron ka ngayong x minus 3 equals 16. Na wala na yung radical, free ka na na isolve yung x. So, para masolve mo yung x, tanggalin mo si 3. Meron ka nalang x equals 19 kasi 16 plus 3 is equal to 19. At since x is by itself, so tapos na yung solution nyo, x is equal to 19. Yan yung kaibahan ng uh, example na to dun sa previous three examples na nakita nyo. Now, dun sa last example natin, um, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng panibagong set ng equation na hindi kaparehas ng number 4. In this equation, yung um, both sides ng equation natin, meron na siyang square root. So, yung isa, square root of 3m plus 4, at yung isa na katman is square root of 5m minus 6. So, ang goal natin is to have m by itself. So, magsusolve tayo ng letter m. So, ang una natin gagawin, since parehas silang nasa loob ng square root, square nyo yung both sides. So, pag na-square nyo yung both sides, matatanggal si radical, ang matitira na lang is yung nasa loob. So, meron ka ngayong 3m plus 4 equals 5m minus 6. So, ngayon naman, variables on both sides na. Meron kang parehas na m sa parehas na side. So, para masolve mo si m, tanggalin mo muna yung constant dito sa side na to. So, ang lagi kong ginagawa, tinatanggal ko yung constant dito sa side ng equation na to at lahat naman ng mga 
variables or x or m nandito sa side. So, tatanggalin ko si 4 by subtracting 4 on both sides. Matitira na lang sa akin is 3m equal to 5m minus 10. At si m naman, ang tatanggalin ko dito sa side na to, so I'll subtract 5m on both sides. So, meron akong 3m minus 5m. So, meron akong negative 2m equals negative 10. To have m by itself, kailangan ko siyang i-divide both sides by negative 2. And negative 10 divided by negative 2 will give us positive 5. So, m is equal to positive 5. So, medyo mahaba yung step. Pero kung alam nyo na yung mga rules nyo na dapat tanggalin nyo muna yung radical to solve for x, madali lang siyang um, i-master. So, 